what I want to show now is uh, it's kind of an electric motor. You can look at it that way. Um, this uh, can operate as an electric motor, and I guess uh, I will show it working that way in a few minutes. Um, but this is a sold as a it's sold as a generator. So let me first uh, show it to you working as a generator. Um, I, let's see, how did I want to do this? I think what I need to do first is I need to stop sharing my screen so that the video is the relatively the big thing. And so that I can also look at my own video. Um, and I'm gonna be switching my camera at some point um, so that I can change the angle and show you some um, some of the demos that it's easier to place on the desk. So I guess what I want you to see is that this the construction of device is really simple. Uh, let me switch the camera now, actually. I think um, the external camera that I normally use, it doesn't autofocus, I disabled it. and. It doesn't work well when I have the device I want to move back and forth. So, so this is the device, whole thing. Um, it's connected to some wire stuff at the end, but it's a fairly simple thing. And um, if you have seen any electric motors, what you see at the end here might look similar to electric motor, as in this uh, thing in the middle, that's the shaft of the motor and the, I mean, you can't see inside the construction, but if uh, this uh, looks familiar to you, like an electric motor that you might have seen elsewhere, well, it is an electric motor. Um, it's got these wires connected uh, at the end here to the two terminals. That's the wires that are connected here. And uh, so why am I calling this a motor? Isn't this a generator? Well, it is a generator. It's not, not a generator. So uh, let me show it to you working as a generator. Uh, let's see here, gonna bend, okay, I think I need to put this way out here, okay. So, so I have these light bulbs, well, wait, yeah. Let me connect this generator to, so the leads of the generator to the um, two ends of the light bulb. And I'm going to make sure, this has a two output modes, one, low output, high output. I'm gonna make sure that I put it on the high output mode. Why am I connecting this? I'm gonna connect it closer because it's easier to connect it that way. Sorry, slippery. Wow, this is so slippery. Maybe it's because I'm using my left hand it's like trying to use chopstick with your left hand. Uh, okay, so I have the leads connected here and I have this thing that's sold as a generator. So let me turn it and yeah. It's a generator, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's on, yeah, it's on high output. So on high output, it, uh, and on low output, it works as generator too, but it kind of limits the current. So um, yeah, so anyways, high output, yeah, it's a generator. So um, then why does it look like a motor? It's because it's also a motor. <laughs> so that's why I have two of these so that I can show it to you, working as a motor and a generator. So I have two of these now. Um, I, I guess I'll leave the camera angle here so that you can see both of them reasonably well. So the one on the left, um, I mean, they are here. And uh, I'm just gonna connect the two of them so that um, one of them can work as a generator and the other can work as a motor. So I'm gonna, I guess uh, uh, it, the direction doesn't matter too much. It just will change how, in what direction these things turn. But let me just, for visual, um, visual, I don't know, uh, satisfaction. I'll just have the same colors, um, the black wire to the black, red wire to red, but they can be up the other way around. It doesn't have to be the same. Uh, and let me make sure they are both on the high output mode. This is on high output and this was already was. So I'm gonna, uh, let me, 
Well, let me take the thing that I was uh, before using as generator and I'm gonna turn it. And as I turn it, this is what happens. <laughs> so this is what I mean uh, by saying that this is also a motor. So when I turn this, it, this uh, works as a generator using Faraday's law to generate the current here because there's an induced voltage, that voltage drives the current. And when the current goes into this motor, then that motor, there's a torque on the current carrying wire in there. And that torque turns this thing in the shaft. And it, it there's a whole set of gears that turns the crank. So when I turn this, the thing here turns. Now I can reverse it. I, and by the way, you can kind of see that these two are not connected one to one. When I turn this fast, you see it turning, but watch when I turn this very slowly. When I turn this very slowly, making sure, you know, I'm not generating so much current that it can, so, you know, so it's not a one to one relationship. It's a mechanical energy to current current to mechanical thing. And there's enough losses there that if I do this slowly enough that I can turn this without that other thing turning. But if I do it fast, then it turns. Now, let me put down my generator so that it can now be motor and turn this motor so that it can be generator. So, um, so yeah, it's a, uh, and uh, I think your textbook doesn't give it enough emphasis. Um, every motor is a generator and every generator is a motor. It, it, that's just uh, how it works by <laughs> the physical principle under which motors and uh, generators work. That the, it's uh, like uh, there's a uh, no way for a uh, there's no way for a motor to also not be a generator if you reverse the direction in which where the mechanical energy is input versus where it's coming out. Uh, every motor has to work in some sense, or it should be capable of working as a generator. And I don't know, I guess I'm not 100% sure if it's, uh, I mean, you can always you know, break it. You can put in ratchets and whatnot. You can make it so they can go the other way. But unless you take effort to, to um, disable it somehow, every motor by design or every motor kind of by default can function as a generator. 